I think it's probably pretty individualized for each of us what we need to stay healthy. So let's go ahead and start with a heart math practice to activate the intuition of the heart to see if it has any wisdom on what you might need more of and less of to stay well and healthy this winter. So you can be in any comfortable seated position. And um, first start by orienting yourself into the room you're in. Just notice your four, four walls. Notice anything around you. Notice the ground that's supporting you, or if you're on a chair, the chair that's supporting you. And then draw your attention closer in. And notice anything that's drawing your attention from the inside. And then begin to slow your breathing down. Direct the breath to the chest or heart center. Some people like to put their hand there to help direct their attention there. So breathe slowly in and out of the heart center to activate the nervous system within the heart, which then will send messages through the vagus nerve up to your brain, to the higher thinking part of the brain. The next step is to activate a feeling of appreciation, gratitude, care, love, courage, anything that's uplifting to you. It can be about a person, a place, a memory. But it's more than just thinking about this uplifting moment. It's about feeling it. So see if you can place yourself in that spot where you're sensing this uplifting feeling. Maybe you're sensing you're next to the person or the pet that makes you feel so good where you're sensing the warm sunshine on you. Or anything else that just makes you feel more relaxed and at peace inside. Now, the next step is to actually Ask your heart the question, what do I need more of and what do I need less of this winter to stay healthy? So that's the question to the heart, not to the head. What do I need more of? What do I need less of to stay healthy this winter? And then you wait for the answer. Sometimes it comes in like a wave. Other times it might be just like a little voice. And other times you might have to do this a few more times before the answer comes. You might even have to reword the question. But when you get the heart to weigh in, it might be telling you something completely different than your head has been saying. 